Hello, Bill. I'm Stephen Whitworth from Prairie Dog. Oh, hi, Stephen. Pleased to meet you. Good to meet you, too. And uh, this must be your photographer? It is our photographer. I'm Bill Watcott. I knew that. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. uh, can I do a short interview with you? For of course. Right? Us activists are always available. <laughs> well, excellent. Um, yeah. The story will be in the issue that goes to press early next week, so it comes out on Thursday. So after this, if there's anything you want to add that we've forgotten about, uh, you can uh, uh, send me an email at the feedback Prairie Dog Mag address. Yeah. Uh, and if I don't notice that because of all the emails in my inbox, just sure. poke me on Twitter and I'll catch that one. No problem. Okay, well, I'll start the interview. So, what's the reaction been on campus like to you today? 95% uh, plight. Uh, so for that, I'm grateful. I've had two uh, students uh, use swear words, but they're not at all representative of either the students or the protesters. A couple protesters heckled me a bit, but it's a protest, so what do you expect? Um, there hasn't been any violence, uh, and the university has been um, has been very reasonable in the provision of their table, and uh, some of their staff have come by, one of them a uh, English faculty, and we've had a really good talk. Did um, I heard, uh, I think I saw on Facebook that the university had been in touch with you before this event, so was it helpful? To, did you talk to them beforehand? Yes, I did, and, and I that, got a feeling helpful? they were moving towards censorship, uh, but then I said, you know, you'd have to carry me off, and uh, at some point it'll get into a, into a lawsuit. So I, th I think they've just simply accepted that they have to allow free speech as a publicly funded institution. And to that, ex to that extent, I congratulate them. Did they, did they give you any uh, suggestions or was there anything they said that was helpful uh, to your display? I, not really. I think they wanted to censor some of my stuff. They told me there was one flyer I couldn't put out and I put out 100 of them before setting up my display. Okay. Um, was that they, the Ryan Timmons one? Yes. Okay. Do you, yeah, do you yeah. have any left? I gave them all out. All okay. the students wanted them. I saw them. a picture on <laughs> Facebook. But. Yeah, that's the verbatim flyer. Yeah. Yes. And uh, as for my my literature they they did not they did not censor anything and they didn't even try so so for the on, on that you know there is stuff that can be censored like if I was going to put out pornography or calls to violence by all means I'd say that's reasonable but views I'm dead set against censoring views and by and large I can't accuse the university of that okay you mentioned that a couple of students had sworn at you and that, uh, and that made me think uh, often when you're trying and and I know this from my own life too. Mm -hmm. uh, when there's something about the world you don't like, it can be frustrating and it can make you feel angry. So do you have some sympathy for when people who disagree with you are angry? Um, not really, no, because you can walk away and I don't, I don't chase you. If you tell me you don't want to hear my views, I respect that. In a democracy, people have the right to be free from my views. It's just, I don't want to be silenced and I'm very persistent in making sure that my views are available for those who are interested in engaging. You kind of think that maybe we're sort of old, maybe we're a little tired and that's why we're not as angry or? Um, no, actually these 18 and 19 year olds or 20 year olds are reasonable. Uh, I don't think any of them agree with me, but they are, they are reasonable. Uh, you know, it's, that's fine. And mind you, at one time I was on their side. So, you know, maybe if they hang oh, around me that. a bit, they... Pardon? I didn't know that. Oh, I was a drug addict. I was... Uh, actually, you know, I was politically active enough on the left. I'd go to cross-cultural learner centers and cheer the Sandinistas when they were uh, ambushing uh, uh, government trucks, uh, you know, it, it, because obviously oh, it, was, it was a right-wing... Yeah, yeah I, was, I was that far to the left. I supported marijuana. I supported abortion. I supported all of it. Um, no, and of course, I had a bit of an evolution. Now, you know, that didn't come overnight. I actually trashed one church, uh, got up on their stage and disrupted it. Um, so obviously, you know, one, one encounter didn't, didn't change my mind. But maybe with a repetition of Christians getting their message out, maybe it can encourage people to think. Well, you, you mentioned Christians getting their message out. There isn't one, as you know, there isn't one Christian message. Do you find that you talk a lot to Christians with different views than yours? Um, I'm on the outside of this. Yes, I'm yes. No, 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 no. That's a fair, that's a fair yeah. question. Actually, all questions are fair. You know, as long as you don't put some F words and, you know, insults in the question. I'll try not to ask anything stupid. But Pardon? I'll try not to ask anything stupid. Uh, and there's very few stupid questions funny. in my world. Uh, yeah, and lots of people do ask me stupid questions and I'm highly tolerant of it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I just might not respect you as much. Um, 
yeah, there is there is different Christian views, but I think amongst Orthodox Christianity, there is unanimity of agreement on the issue of homosexuality and abortion, Trinity. So a church like the United Church, which allows gay marriage, yeah. I don't believe that's a Christian church. So I guess when I use the word Christian, I'm thinking Orthodox, you believe the Bible is the word of God. Um, you know, and then of course there's people who can call themselves Muslims and they may not be Muslims, so, you know. Uh, you might decide to call yourself Baha'i and you're not. I'll, uh, no, I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll stick with uh, old atheist man, but... Yeah, yeah, fair uh, enough. The, um, I was there once. Yeah, the... Um, Jesus could change your mind on that. He seems like a really nice guy, so... I think he is. Yeah. Um, one question I've, I've wanted to ask you uh -huh. is there are so many uh, there are so many issues uh, there are so many problems in the world and mm -hmm. uh, anyone who's concerned and has feeling for you know humanity mm -hmm. uh, can be called to to address these you uh, you oppose abortion you're most famous for opposing abortion and homosexuality that's right why those issues why not poverty or climate change? well when I was a nurse well number one climate change I am involved on the other side okay. I think the real harm is shutting down the oil sands okay. um, and I think it's pseudoscience uh, uh, David Suzuki so you know I do put that on my website and I'm aware of those issues right. Um, when I was a nurse and I was making a lot more money before I had a hundred thousand in judgments on my head uh, yeah. for a year and a half I had a little kid in Zimbabwe that I gave 37 a month to through World Vision mm -hmm. so I care about those issues uh, but you can't do everything and for me uh, the issue of Christians having the freedom to speak on these moral issues I believe God called me to make that my life crusade you know and yeah I, I don't I don't even preach at other Christians that they got to do what I'm doing because if a Christian's working with the blind, if they're working with the homeless, they're doing a great job. But someone has to protect freedom of religion, freedom of speech, freedom of conscience for social conservatives. And, and that's me. Even, even if all of them don't appreciate it, uh, when, they, when they get these court victories allowing people onto campuses, they get to benefit from that if they exercise it. One of the concerns uh, that mm -hmm. people uh, who disagree with you might express, it's not just that you're expressing a view opposing abortion. Uh, certainly any, anyone who's really pro-choice says that people can choose to not have an abortion. That's right. One of the concerns is the belief that social conservatives want to entrench their values in law. Well, we all do, uh, how do you, obviously. How do you feel about that? I mean, that's yeah. because if, you, if, someone's, if someone's feeling that they're, opp yeah. that they're oppressed by a different yeah. faith or belief set than theirs... Well, of course, atheists, uh, not all of them, but there is an element of uh, in atheism, especially on the left, that wants to make my speech illegal. That is imposing a view, isn't it? So we're all, we're all trying to pass laws, uh, and of course you try to get laws to reflect your values. Uh, the left tries to pass laws, uh, conservatives will try to pass laws. Uh, in a free and democratic society, we got to debate and see what the best argument is. I, that's a wanted kid. That kid was wanted, that doctor spent hours saving his life. This kid is one week older, and they chopped him up and he felt pain when that happened. Uh, to me, I believe uh, the compassionate stand is, is to defend life. So you're really called to that issue? I care deeply about abortion. I lost my nursing career on that one and went to jail for six months for peacefully protesting it. And then I was back in jail two weeks later protesting again. So I care an awful lot about the humanity of the unborn. And I care an awful lot on Christians having the right to defend what I view as, as, um, as, as proper morals. Now, one... Um, uh Another, another reason that you face uh, protests is probably, especially in the United States, mm -hmm. uh, a lot of Christian values are making their way into laws, or a lot of the values of mm -hmm. your Christians are making their ways into laws, and people are chafing against that and finding that oppressive. Mm -hmm. Although same-sex marriage is increasingly legal in the U.S., mm -hmm. that, it's very recent that that's happening. Uh, Actually, 2002, sodomy was illegal in yeah in it, many states. It changed, and it's probably still illegal in a few. But it no, it isn't. Not like, not anymore. Not any, not any no, no. Anymore. Lawrence versus Texas, 2002. Okay. That was when the sodomy law was struck down in the United States and all states. 
Uh, this, here's a Dan Savage question. Uh, sure, I know him. Um, I've never met him. I've, been in the I've never met him, but I follow him on the. I don't agree with him, obviously, yeah. but I've certainly versed myself with his views and whatnot. So, so Dan, Savage. pretty crass guy. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's uh, <laughs> yeah. I have a soft spot for him. Sure, sure, fair enough. Um, the uh, I'll try to cure well, you I'm of that because of his crassness in part. Yeah, yeah. But he would he would point out that sodomy is not a same sex. Sexual act, exclusive sexual activity. Oh, I've that never argued that. Yeah. So, are you, do, do you, I mean, it's sort of technical, but do you oppose the sodomy in a heterosexual relationship? Yes, I do, on, on health grounds. Okay. Uh, you know, a lot of guys who really want that with women, they're into porn. They tend not to stay um, very faithful to their women because you are looking at just gratifying. And I've looked after women uh, who've had hepatitis and that from anal sex, and they don't look very pretty after that. All kinds of stuff can happen from all kinds of sex. That's right, but that's a very unhygienic and dangerous, just, just from a technical point of view. Uh, nobody can argue that. Uh, you can argue that, but that's statistics. That isn't religion. Uh, when you, you know, when you, when you do anal sex, uh, you're breaking the mucous membrane and you're opening up uh, E. coli, you're opening up HIV, it's, you know, you know, the blood's right there, so it's just not the way God intended you to do it, in my view. So and I did have a secular Chinese doctor tell me that. He yeah. didn't believe in God, he just said it's a bad way to do it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, so I wouldn't do that with a woman. Just so, wouldn't want to. So this conversation reminds me of one thing that I sometimes think about. Mm -hmm. Thinking about almost anyone on the planet having sex to me is gross. Maybe two really beautiful people, mm -hmm. but I don't want to think about my parents having sex. I, I don't have kids, but yeah, if I had yeah. kids, I wouldn't want to think about them having sex. Well, you know, I, mean, I, I don't sit there in bed why, thinking why, why about people about having sex. Because it's you, yeah. because like, most yeah. people having sex is disgusting. Yeah. Right. No one wants to think about me having sex. No, I hope. no. And honestly, I don't... Oh, sorry, go ahead. Go ahead. I was going to say, why, why do you find it gross? It's just... Natural. Well, that's probably a combination of personal prudishness and or culture yeah. and yeah. And know, honestly, when I think most yeah. people would yeah. think yeah. I think most people would want to leave a room screaming at the topic yeah. of their parents having sex. Yeah. Well, and, uh, like yeah. and honest to God, I don't walk up to you and go, "Can I discuss how you're having sex?" And yeah. you know, if if it was like a married couple using condoms, I might think that's a sin. But it'll be a it'll be a cold day in hell before you find me picketing their house at midnight. So, uh, so do you think birth control is a sin? Now, you know, for a secular person, they're not going to get it. And like I said, picketing a married couple using birth control is just not my thing. Yeah. Uh, for Christians, I do say uh, that children are a gift from God. Mm -hmm. Interestingly, our demographics are having some problems now because of a lack of children, uh, pension liabilities and uh, the inability to find skilled workers. That's coming from not having children. So even though you can make money in the short term yeah. not having children, a country's long-term viability is, is really in children. So I think God is vindicated on that. So I encourage Christians to be open to children. And of course I encourage Christians to keep their marriages intact to bring up children. And I think socially there's some benefits and religiously that certainly conforms with scripture if you happen to believe in scripture. Now for an atheist it's, it's hard for me to even argue that one with you. If you, if you don't believe in God. Scripture can have value for me as an atheist without, I mean. Yeah. Well I could certainly try to persuade you on, on the demographic. Yeah, yeah, and the demographic, uh, what's that called, the demographic winter? I would argue that with you. Uh, Western Europe, they, they, they tossed children and got into free sex in the 60s. Uh, we were the 60s as well. I guess Europe was a little bit earlier. Uh, Russia now, is, and, and so is many Western European countries, they're trying to bribe people to have children. they figured out not having children is not a great idea in, in the long term. You know, and for me, I love children. Like, you know, if, when I'm old, I want to have grand grandkids. I want to have my kids, you know? Yeah, it's, it's They're off, a gift from God. It's off topic, but what about the... Uh -huh. uh, so, I, I mean, I won't use this in the article, but what right. about the idea that... Uh, you, you mentioned pensions, because yeah. uh, a shrinking population, as demographics change, you can have An aging problems. population yeah, as well. Can, you can have problems supporting... Pen, and an aging population. That's right. Have supporting, and uh, health care, big pensions. problem. But doesn't... I mean, arguably... Sure, there's a problem there, but isn't the problem, and this, I'm not positing yes, a solution, isn't the problem that maybe there's an element of a pyramid scheme to pensions? No. Uh, when our birth rate was in, in Canada, wasn't that far back in the 60s, the birth rate in Canada was four children to one, one woman. Uh, now it's like 1.2, maybe 1.3. Uh, I think Quebec is 1.1, maybe Alberta 1.7. That's not replacement. 
that's not enough young people to keep the pensions going. When it was four to one, uh, there was lots of room for generous pension benefits because there was always young people looking after the older people. Interestingly, now the pressure is coming for euthanasia as a result of the pressure on health care of an aging population. I would rather young people looking after old people and caring for them. You know, I think that's far more dignified. Also off topic for this interview, but uh, yeah. there's a con conservative MLA who used to actually be... You can uh, put any uh, of this in the interview, by no, the way. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I won't have the room. I mean, oh, it's okay. off topic because I wanted the room, but right. I'm, I'm interested. Uh, there's a conservative MP in Winnipeg, uh, Stephen Fletcher, who right. actually was sort of, when I was a million years ago, when I was in the student press, he was uh, the head of the student union at the U of M, University of Manitoba, because I'm from Winnipeg originally. Right, right. And the paper I was at in the student union were all like, ah. But now, many, many years later, he's come out in favor of right to die legislation against his own caucus. Right. So it sounds like even in, I don't know if he's Christian, but even within uh, social conservatism, and he seems to be socially conservative, there seems to be differing views on euthanasia. Well, on, in, in the Christian world, I don't believe we'll ever accept euthanasia. Um, and I've worked a lot in palliative care when I was a nurse. Mm -hmm. I believe you can have a dignified death with your family, looking after you, giving you the best of care, and nobody's going to linger forever. I've, I've cared for very aggressive cancers, and typically when you get to stage four, you're, you're gone in weeks. You know, I, I'm all for pain control, and I'm all for pain control that may even reach a dangerous level to mitigate your pain, not to kill you. Uh, when you get into killing, um, you've, 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 you've crossed the line, and it's very hard then to draw the line. In, in uh, Belgium, we just had a perfectly healthy sex offender. I know people don't like sex offenders, but they weren't going to offer him treatment because that was too expensive, and they gave him the option to euthanize himself. Oh, I think I read about that. Yeah, I got a huge problem with that. I don't, don't agree with the guy's crime, but he wanted help, and the only thing that was offered to him was death. Yeah, um, I wasn't comfortable with that, too. Yeah, and then they also had two healthy blind brothers c commit suicide. I'll call it commit suicide. They call it dying with dignity. Right. And then you do have the conscience issue. Eventually, when something's legalized, it's like, why is that Christian bigot not wanting to give the needle when that person wants a needle? I can't kill you. You, you can be the farthest on the left, and I can't kill you. You know? Uh, so I don't want that. Uh, I believe... I believe real dignified uh, dying is, is, is people looking after you until you die naturally. Yeah. Yeah, I could talk to I could talk to you for a long time, but I, I well I have unlimited tape, but uh, <laughs> fair enough. Um, uh, what was I? Yeah. What else was I going to ask? Uh, I guess second last topic I'd like to cover, really important, is uh, a lot of people uh, with different views from you would argue that the danger with coming out so hard against uh, access to abortion. Can I ask him to take a picture, uh, please? Hmm? Yeah, please. Could I get, uh, could you oh, yeah, 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 yeah. One of us? I was uh, oh, absolutely. I'm, I give picture. pictures for everybody. <laughs> That's no problem. I've done it for a few people. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Go ahead. Yeah. You want me in the picture? Just you oh, no, it? you can be in it. That's fine. We're having, this is one of the better interviews, by the way. Yeah, it's the most in-depth. Well, I'm, <laughs> you know, I'm yeah. old and relaxed now, so. Yeah, yeah, uh, me too. <laughs> I hope this, this thing better be on. Yeah, it's working. Oh, good. Um, uh, one of the one of the things that uh, you'll run up into from people who support uh, same-sex marriage, who support mm -hmm. uh, who support uh, total cultural acceptance of homosexuality, mm -hmm. and who support abortion, is the is the concern that do you want uh, me to take one? Just, just by um, sorry, get in here, man. Oh, okay, go ahead. The support for freedom yeah, yeah, yeah. of speech, man. That's that's really even better if you agree with me. I might be asking a little much, eh? Uh, I don't totally agree, but I really respect the fact that you stand up and say Thank you. what you want to say. Yeah. I love that. I Thank love you. That. It's good for the campus. It yeah, is. it is. It is. Just being able to talk to whatever you want. Yeah. That would happen to where people talk about Well, they don't have to agree, but just, just don't suppress it. That's yeah, all. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So the, uh, yeah. the question is, um, uh, one of the arguments is that... Thanks, bud. Is that... Is that uh, Putting, uh, just speaking against same-sex marriage is dangerous uh, in a couple of ways, like it can actually hurt people in a couple of ways. One is that uh, for people who are young, who are attracted to, uh, who are attracted to people of the same sex, mm -hmm. who are questioning their identity and, and who are often marginalized by, or who can be marginalized by their families, by their friends, this is changing, but it mm -hmm. can still happen, especially in the States, that 
Thirty um, percent of Canada is still opposed to homosexuality. It's just they're is quiet part, now. Is that part opposition? Yeah, yeah, that's no homosexual activity, no marriage. Okay. Uh, maybe not quite as hard as me. Uh, <laughs> But a lot of Canadians are, like, you know, there's Muslim communities. There is the conservative Christian community. Um, that atheist doctor I told you about agreed with me on that issue. Uh, it's just they don't want to lose their career or get hated on the way I have. But are, are you worried that uh, these ideas can hurt people? No, can I'm not. Vulnerable people? I, I'm really not. I think that's a, a specious argument. Um, you know, ped pedophiles can use that argument, and they are. I think there was a conference in the United States uh, that they said we have to change the name to minor attracted persons so we don't dehumanize them. Um, well, it was 40 years ago the APA was saying on, on the gay issue. So no, I don't think anyone has, has a right to be free from criticism.